What is up, everybody? It's Super Reverse Steve here today, and it seems like a Capcom programmer has a very bizarre stance against games being modded on PC. A very strange and just hilarious stance at that, because who's going to take this guy serious? Like, this is literally a joke. He is saying that user created mods for his PC games should be blocked because they're no different to cheat codes on a technical level. Now, just look at this photo they use right here. You literally instead of seeing Mr. X or Nemesis, you see Thomas the Trank being a menacing enemy. <laughs> like, really? This is cheating, apparently, to these guys? Now, I can understand this point of view if it was for, like, a multiplayer game. But if you're modding a single-player game, what's the harm in following that? Like, there's no harm in following that. That doesn't make any sense. Then there's another post as well that goes into more detail. In a recent Capcom R&D presentation, Capcom has clarified its stances on mods in PC gaming. Capcom considers mods equal to cheating and is worried that mods that violate public order of morals will cause them PR damage. Don't be surprised if you see takedowns from them. Now what I kind of think this is really going into is those nude mods of the characters. Because that's a very popular thing. These creators, these modders want to make nude characters of like Chun-Li, Jill, whatever famous Capcom character want to make nude mods of them. So I think that's kind of what's getting them angry about this which to an extent yes you got characters you want to have be iconic and people can do that but it's their game they can do what they want to i don't see what the big deal is so even then i still don't see what the big deal is so the state of cheats and piracy in pc games should you target mods your anti-cheat anti-piracy programs mods are no different than cheats after the product and they got the modder being some type of menacing person. <laughs> That's the cartoon image they use right there. The state of cheese and piracy in PC games. Reputational damage caused by malicious mods. The image of the product is tarnished when mods are released that violate public order and morals without permission. Workload due to malicious mods. Customers talk about buggy mods cause support time. Yeah, so they're taking a real big stance against mods at this point. Well, I don't know them as a whole, but it's definitely being talked about at Capcom R&D right now. So, I don't know. Would this be a big thing going forward? Who knows? But it's definitely they're not happy about these mods you guys are making on PC, which is kind of funny because you see companies like Bethesda who fully embrace the whole modern scene. They are fully embrace it. While Capcom is now starting to be against it, which is interesting right here. Like, once again, I get it. If you're playing Street Fighter 6 online, don't mod the game. But if you're playing Resident Evil 4 Remake single player alone, why can't you give Leon a sombrero? Or, or Leon an um, a, a Irish garb or a, 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 a kilt? I don't know. I, I don't see the harm in that. So, I don't know. They're really against it. I think it's mainly those nude mods. <laughs> it's really getting up in arms at this point. Um, but yeah, I think the really offensive mods get removed anyway. Like the the mod sites remove the really offensive ones anyway. But I don't know. I guess they're really, really trying to prevent that. Remember when they put the random microtransactions in Devil May Cry Five? Or maybe they just want to sell you the mods. Maybe they're mad that hey, instead of paying Capcom for this red or microtransaction, you could probably just make the, the game yourself more easier. Give this give this to you, yourself instead of paying Capcom. Or instead of paying Capcom for a fancy outfit, you could just make it in a mod, or you could just find a mod of it. Maybe that's what they're really upset about. Because I don't think it's just that cutting. I don't think it's that black and white. It's just hey, you put a sombrero on Leon, and we're really upset about that. I think it's that you don't gotta. You can cut out the middleman of Capcom instead of paying them. You could just find a modder who can give you these certain upgrades. So I think that's the real issue here. But just my theory. I don't know if that's true or not, but just my theory on this whole situation right here. The entire reason to buy the PC version is the mods. Yeah, that's like mods are literally synonymous with PC gaming at this point. So, uh, I'm sorry that I wanted to play as Dante for the whole game tarnishes the reputation of Check Notes, a single player game. I do wish I could have turned off achievements with the mod on. Okay. Capcom is standing firmly in the you don't own the game as you buy corner. I see. Yeah. That's not going to go over too well in the PR department for Capcom. They're still mad that Street Fighter V had a fan patch that improved the netcode. Apparently, people modded the, modded the game that made the online connection better, which 
that's a big W in my book, but Capcom was not old, not happy with that apparently. Sad because mods actually improved some of their games. Resident Evil 2 and 3 work so well in first person. Of course, they consider mods cheating. Mods are the only way we can get a modern dino crisis. Something they seem dedicated to depriving us of. Yeah. This is kind of strange. Like, with them remaking all these games, why have they never remade Dino Crisis, which was a, a beloved fan game? They never went back to this one. Instead, we're getting Exo Primal, a, a dinosaur multiplayer game, which nobody asked for. It's very bizarre right there. Uh, if they go after mods, I'll just sell the seven C's. Then simple as. It's good that they are so upfront about this. More people should know how corporations operate once they have too much control over media. I blame the one guy who we had to remove the new Chelsea mod from Street Fighter Six during a tournament. Uh. uh the morals and bad publicity thing I kind of get because it happened in the past where someone gave companies got in trouble for a mod or a fan project that media cr creates negative headlines. I mean, yeah, I mean, I do like we being sensible. I do kind of get that. Like, some parents can see their kid playing this game with this nude character, and they can be Capcom be like, "Hey, we didn't make this. This is some third party mod site that did this to the game. Don't blame us for this nonsense." And I can see that being a PR disaster, a PR debacle, but. At the end of the day, the parent still has to be a parent regardless, and it's like, you can't blame um, people for modding their games, though, so I don't know. I do, like, I do understand where they're coming from, but once again, um, it should be, people should be able to do what they want with the single player game. They bought it. <laughs> I see somebody use an analogy of, like, you buying an apple from the store, and then the store getting upset that you cut the apple in halves or wedges or whatever, like, that doesn't make any sense. You can do what you want with the product you bought that point so as long as it's not affecting anybody else I don't see what the big deal is I wonder why they wouldn't mention reputational damage okay yep because me making Chun Lee naked with a two times bigger but is no different than me running silent aim or LMAO box in the yup it makes total sense Capcom uh, every trip weight gaming studio Hates having an audience that likes them. Bro, it's my game. I should do whatever I want with it. Yeah, I kind of agree with that too. Like, you bought it, do what you want with it. Yeah, when you're playing a game full of zombies and you see Thomas the Trank pop up, then that's kind of hilarious. Like, they want to take this away from you. Like, really? I can see how this pisses them off, but just like parody songs and skits, what can you do? Mods are great things in game, and it allows us to keep our favorite games fresh. That is so true, because games usually die within like a month or two. Like after the honeymoon phase, we've been playing it for that week or month or two. It's pretty much, the discussion is pretty much dead for that game. So this kind of revitalizes um, those games being brought up again, like with the mod scene. Or so, or except like when the companies bring out a certain DLC, but other than that, it's like the devs pretty much be the games pretty much be dead for that time period. So this does kind of revitalize those games, to give it a, a a longer lifespan. So 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 to say, so it's more good than bad with these mods. Is what I'm trying to say here. Watch what happens when you ban mods. Well, what's gonna happen? <laughs> see, when the people are just gonna pirate the games. I'm assuming that's what he's insinuating with this. Mods help sell the value of games on PC, so this is very archaic thinking. I'm guessing Capcom has internal stores and games and they want to push you to buy EXP boosters and cheats. Bingo! I kind of think this is too. Like, I honestly kind of think this is the main reason. Like They want to sell you these XP boosters, these different costumes, etc. And it's like, if you make, if you, you can just get the mod on the, the mod store, then why pay Capcom at that point? I think that's what's really bothering them. Uh, Thomas is clearly the is basically the mascot of PC mods. Yeah. Did Nintendo argue that the cheats are illegal in court and lost? What is the dev on about? Yeah, so Nintendo tried to sue and they lost. I don't know what Capcom thinks they can do with this. Yeah, so I don't know. But I'm going to conclude it right here. Uh, 
<laughs> this is a pretty funny one to end off with. If I can't put CJ in the game, I don't play the game. And that's the character from San Andreas that people love so much. But yeah, once again, I think Capcom is on a high horse. This programmer is... Like, I understand they do have some valid points, don't get me wrong, but just to have this complete stance against mods, for especially for single-player games, is kind of crazy. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, click this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.